look at we're gonna do HTML5 canvas. What is HTML5 canvas? It's basically drawing with script. So let's look at this. So we create a square, right? So canvas ID is my canvas ID. You don't need to put this all this crap right here. Uh, should be. Let's move this by itself. Style, and then it's my canvas. I'm enjoying this. The width, height, is okay. We're gonna control X, control V. Should be the same. Um, let's make it a little bigger. Make it just 200. Let's see, perfect square. Okay. So, the ID is my canvas, and then the width and height is 200. And then it shows this. So, it's actually about. Alright, let's draw this with um, some JavaScript. Here's an example. So, first, we're gonna create my canvas 200 by 200. Uh, that makes it a little bigger. And, uh, make it 800 by 600. Okay. Um, so, we're gonna first declare a variable. It's gonna be uh, variable C equals document get element by ID my canvas. Right here, ID my canvas. So, this is gonna plop it in HTML. Next, we're gonna create a variable called CTX equals to C, the C right here, get context 2D. So, we're gonna store the variable into a 2D context. And then we're gonna use CTX to draw stuff. So, this is the first one. The first one's gonna be white. No, this is red. Sorry. This is red. Let's change it to green. Green. And this is the fill. Uh, we can create a function. We call this function uh, rect. Oops, should be rect. So we can store the functions. Um, we're gonna create. Correct. So we're gonna call this. So this is x, y. I forgot what this is. 150. Let's fill rect. No, there's documentation. Fill rect. Fill rect. Oh, width and height. So this is gonna be. The position. So with height. And we're gonna create one called color. And we're gonna call this color. We're gonna call this this junk. Okay. And we're gonna create a new one. We're gonna create Should be next should be rect. We're gonna do the coordinates 50, 50, and then this is a width and height. The width and height is gonna be let's make it the same 150, 75, and then we're gonna have a color of red. Quotations. So should show. See? It's on top of it. So we want to move it. This is X and Y. A little bit more. Let's give it a hundred. A little bit more. 120. A little bit more. 130. A little bit more. So yeah, so it's X, Y with height color. I just create this function right here. I call it rect for rectangle. So it's just easier. Versus you gotta do all these lines. So I simplified it. So let's refactor this a bit. So we're gonna refactor it. 
So basically, this will be rect, copy, paste, comma, green, and we're going to delete these two little guys, and still the same. And then we're going to create one more, we're going to call this yellow, yellow, it's going to be on top. So let's move this a tad bit more so I can show you. See, it's on top. Uh, this is up and down, so let's see what 100 does. Let's make it 0. This goes all the way to the top. See? So, yeah. Let's try to create a circle. So the only thing you gotta do is set this up. You really don't know, have to know what this does. All you gotta know is this part is just like, all right, I'm gonna store a variable called C, and then we're gonna get element my canvas right here. We're gonna plop it here. So this what this is this function just plops it here. That's what this does. And then next we're gonna create a variable C, and we're gonna make it a 2D. So this creates like this 2D kind of a thing to start drawing and after that it's layered so it's this is like green is the first layer after that this is on top and then yellow is on top so they stack all the way going down if you don't do it a certain way it's going to stack a different way so watch I'm going to control X control V and it's going to stack differently see it stacks down um, an easier way to make your script less repeated, repetitive is to use a function. So these are just arguments; they don't mean anything. So I created it that way. So the easiest part is just you don't have to memorize it; just like set it up that way, and then you just get element by the them and just, let's try to make a circle or something. <sighs> Canvas, stroke, learn, the stroke, style, gradient, clip, rotate, draw image. There's a, there's a lot. Circle, canvas, circle, canvas. So we're gonna create a circle. This has been done. Uh, how do you create a circle? Oh, it's called arc. So we're gonna create a circle. So this will be a circle. That's a circle. Um, let's see what a circle does. So, circle, this is x, this is y. This is the radius. Um, this is the starting angle. And this is like how much of the circle you want to do it. So we can do half a circle. Let's make it one. See, that's half a circle. And then it's a full circle. Let's do one fourth. So 55. So we have a quarter of a circle. So we're having a 2, so it's 2 math pi, so 316. It's a lot of math. Let's see, let's try and make this like 1.5. What's this one? Ah, it's the radius the same. Let's see what this does. See? That's how big a circle gets, so let's make the circle a little smaller. So this is the radius. Let's change the angle a bit. Zero. Let's 
trying to make it negative 15. No, that should make it a, a circle, actually. I don't know what that does. It says start angle. Yeah, I don't really know what this does. I really don't know. That's why I don't know. <laughs> this is radius. Just leave it zero to make a circle. I guess this is like pretty good to make like a circular loader or something. Oh, yeah, the time to like pi. So we gotta do it by pi. This is all by pi. Let's leave this as two. So we have to time this by pi, so. It's like that. That's how you do it. But I don't know why you would want to do that. You just leave it zero. That is no circle. Uh, let's make this two. Let's make the fill color. I'm not sure. Should be really should be on top first. Let's make this black. Is it understroke? No, oh, I don't know how to fill it inside. This is just draw a draw circle. Okay, I don't know how to do that. So So Yeah. So this is my tutorial of how to draw a circle and squares. Uh, let's make create a gradient. Let's create a gradient. You also can draw text like this. Um, let's move this down. So this is a text, this like position, x, y, fill more space, uh -huh. more space, so 200, a little more space, but you get it, you can just draw with script, so that's pretty cool, you don't have to have any real Photoshop skills. See, it's pretty simple. Well, let's, let's draw a gradient. Oh, okay. Uh, let's create a gradient. So we're gonna first create a gradient. Uh, let's put this middle up here, and then we're gonna put the gradient colors. Gradient colors. Get lost. So we red, white, and we're gonna create a gradient down here. What comments are here? Gradient. Right there. So it's X and Y. Let's move this tad. Let's make it lower. Just so give it a hundred pixels down. So yeah, this is, and then this is, this is like how far the first color. Goes, I think. No, this is the this is the length that this is the width, this is the height. So make it bigger. Ah. Height width. Yeah. Okay. So let's move it down a little more. So yeah, you can draw with JavaScript, which is pretty cool. So I showed you how to make a rectangle and a function. You can apply this to everything else. 
So it'll be less messy. So you always go I have a call rect, and then this is the function right here to blip out. And then you also put to store the color right here. So color. So um yeah, you can draw with uh, JavaScript. And this is my tutorial, and I hope you learned something. And hopefully you can create like cooler things with this tutorial. So if you want to read more about it, you can look up the documentation when you go to uh, Canvas JavaScript. You can learn more here on the Canvas API. So like basic usage. This is a clock. Draw a square. You do that. Keep on going next. You draw that. Triangle. Smiley face. Stuff like that. Circles. Busier curves. You could do a. You can make a little bubble box. You can make a heart. You guys can make a draw a Pac-Man game. Tells you right here how. Cool, you make Pac-Man. Uh, you can change different colors. You can do random, like a random. What's this? Let me see. No, it doesn't move. It doesn't move. Ah, well, whatever. So yeah. So you can do this thing. So you can basically just draw. It's pretty cool. Wow, these people, they know what they're doing. Do that. You do that. You do a moving thingy. Marching ants. Because um, in JavaScript, there's a timer. Is this set interval or something? Alright, I'm done with this tutorial, so you can just, I'll put the links up under my tutorial and then you guys can learn more. So, this is just a quick sample. So, yeah, you can draw. Alright, bye.